coach. Can you kind of just give us your thoughts of being here at the national campus, playing at the NCAA championships, and now moving on to the quarterfinals? Yeah, no, it's great to be here. We were here two years ago, and again, uh, they're running a great tournament. Uh, they do such a great job, and we feel very comfortable that all our needs are met with, you know, what we need with Gator, with, pow with Powerades and, and waters and, you know, towels. Everything is taken care of, which is so nice. And, you know, had a great match against Georgia Tech, and so, so happy to be in the Elite Eight, which is, you know, is huge. And we definitely don't take it for granted. Um, so we're really excited to play against... Um, Pepperdine tomorrow, and um, yeah, and it's it's been great, and especially after what a year we've had with COVID and everything, to be able to play in the championship and and um, is definitely very special because we've been all we've all been through a lot this year. So um, yeah, very grateful and very happy to be here. And Pepperdine was just in here, and they mentioned it, but you guys are very familiar with each other, played a few times this year. How does that kind of affect your preparation going into a match with an opponent you faced multiple times already? Yeah, I mean, we're very familiar with each other, so I'm sure they're going to have, you know, game plans. We're going to have game plans, um, and uh, some of the matchups are the same and some aren't. Um, but uh, I think, you know, it's going to really come down to, you know, for us, execution. You know, if we're going to, you know, win against uh, Pepperdine, we're going to have to play well and execute our shots um, because they are a tough team and they're going to make us work for every point. And, um, but it's exciting. I mean, I know we know them very well. We know Pear and, and his staff well, and they're a great team, and um, they've done really well. So we're, we're just preparing, and it should be a great battle. Awesome. So we'll open for some questions now. We'll start with Arthur. I uh, have a question for, for Abby with uh, just being just your, your, your second year. Of course, it's been a very eventful uh, couple seasons with uh, COVID and everything. So uh, I'm just curious how, how you settled in and how you've been able to have so much uh, success personally with uh, such a challenging uh, entryway to, to college tennis. Yeah, thank you, Arthur. Um, it's been a blessing to be here at all. We are living in very unprecedented times, and, you know, I just want to take a moment to thank everybody, you know, who put on this tournament, who put on our seasons, all of the conferences, keeping us safe. I know it was extremely difficult between COVID tests, contact tracing, all of the above. I know that was very hard to do, and us being here is a miracle in and of itself, and I'm very blessed to say that, you know, I have been able to come to this tournament and I know that it's my first time and I'll have a few more times to go before I leave UCLA, but I'm super excited to play and my team and I were ready. We had a great match against Georgia Tech, like Coach Stella said, and we're really excited to play Pepperdine on Wednesday. Uh, and, and Coach, I'm curious, have you guys heard from, uh, from Jen Brady at all? I, I, know, I know you were on the, on the call at the US Open, you were in the booth for a bit, which is pretty awesome. Uh, curious if you guys been in touch uh, throughout this uh, tournament run right here. Absolutely. I mean, she sent us a text uh, today, um, both Rance and I, and just wishing us luck. And she just is dying to be here because she knows how exciting it is to be at the NCAAs and just um, what the energy is like. So she just wished us good luck, and um, we love her support. And I know she's following us. And um, yeah, it's great to, great to have her just behind us and thinking about us. And we obviously think about her and love that she's done so well and represented even being a Bruin out there uh, in the world. And, and, um, and so we're just really, really, really proud of her. And, and it's great that she, she really stays connected with us and, and feels part of our, our program so much. Uh, and last one for me, and this could be for, for either uh, of you, uh, seven of the, or all of the top seven seeds, I think it is, are, are into the quarterfinals. In the, in the men's, it's the same situation where most of the top seeds are through. I think the 12 seed is the highest seed in the final eight. Uh, what do you attribute that to, the, the fact that so many top teams are, are having success? Is, are they just that much better? Or I mean, it seems like in college tennis, for the most part, the seeds do hold, hold firm. Um, curious, do you agree with that? And, and why do you think that is in, in college tennis? Well, I mean, every match has been so competitive. I mean, even though there have been some 4-0 victories, they are not, they're, they're so much tighter than that, and even in the men. Um, so, 
you know, I think it's just one of those years that, yeah, maybe this, this year the top seeds are doing, you know, have pulled through to the Elite Eight, but, you know, anything can happen at this point when we're at the NCAAs. Um, you can't take any, you, you can't take the rankings or look at, you know, results. You just, it's really the teams that kind of step up and can, can like, take care of the moment and, um, and uh, you know, is, are the teams that are going to be successful. But, um, you know, I, I think it's, you know, it's, uh, it could go either way, to be honest. I mean, there's so many great teams out there, and I think it's just gone this way. Um, you know, not as a fluke, but I just, you know, there's been some really tight, tight matches. Um, but, yeah, the top teams have come through so far. All right, we'll move on to Sid and then Alex. Hi, Coach. Sid Balkner from the Daily Brewing. Uh, my question for you is, you, you've spoken about UCLA's squad depth in the past, and since February tends to generally play an unchanged lineup, do you think it would be advantageous to play someone that Pepperdine has not seen in your previous matchup? Um, put people at different positions, or just stick with what has worked in the past. Um, you know, it, you know, it, for us, it's going to be the players that we feel that are going to be successful, and that's who we're going to put out there. Um, you know, regardless, we do we do know them, but they could be changing their lineup, so we can't really count on anything too much and trying to to match people up at this point because our lineups are pretty set. Um, but it's, uh, you know, I think it's, there's going to be some, some similar, li similar matchups. Um, and again, I think it's, it's just for us, we're just going to, if we execute well and, and, and stick with our game plans, I think, uh, you know, it's really going to come down to that. Um, so, but they're going to definitely, they're definitely make us work. They're, they're hardworking teams. So we're going to have to, um, you know, play well and, and execute. Thank you. And then I had a question for Abby. Um, you've played Ashley Leahy twice this season already in singles, and the last time out you said that she stepped up her game, being more physical and attacking you, especially in that first set which she took. How do you plan to counter that early on, and what aspects of her game will you look to target? Honestly, I'm really just focused on myself this tournament and how I'm playing. It's my first time being here, as was mentioned earlier, and I'm just trying to play the best that I can and show these other teams that I'm here to compete and that I'm here to play the best that I can and represent my institution just like everybody else. And I know it's going to be a dogfight. Ashley was ranked number one last year, and there's a reason for that. And she's a great competitor. She's a great player. And, you know, she's coached by a great coaching staff, but so am I. And I have a great team backing me, and that's all I'm going to be focused on is just playing the best that I can and competing hard for the Bruins. Awesome. Thank you. All right, Alex, you're up. Awesome. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, and congrats to both of you uh, on the round of 16 victory. I want to start with you, Abby. I know you weren't able to finish your double set yesterday, but I'm just curious, A, have you ever seen Jada Hart frown? Because I don't think I ever have. And just be, again, that energy from your uh, senior leader, what that does for the rest of the team. I will say, yes, I have seen her frown. She is human, but she doesn't frown often and she doesn't have a reason to. She is a fantastic leader. She's a fantastic person. Everything that you see from her mic'd up on Jada Hearts to her amazing tennis, her amazing competitive strength, just everything that she does, everything that she stands for is just beautiful. And I'm super honored to have her as a mentor and a leader on this team. And I'm very fortunate to have been able to play doubles with her for the majority of this season. I've learned a lot from her. And that doubles match was probably one of the most fun doubles matches that I've ever played. And, you know, it's my first match at all at an NCAA tournament, at a championship for uh, UCLA in a college atmosphere. I had never experienced anything like that before. And Jada, as the veteran who's been here so many times, really led me through that, helped me work through my nerves. And she's just honestly an inspiration to every one of us on the team. Awesome. 
I hear they're considering renaming it just the Jada Hart event at this point. But to that point, I apologize, Coach. It's always tough to talk about someone sitting right next to you. But to Abby's point, this is her first NCAA event. And her and Jada, a 5-3 on an incredible duo in Vicki and Kenya. And for Abby to get a 3-1 victory over a top 10 player in the country in Kenya Jones. Just talk about the composure and, again, the level you've seen from her throughout this season. Yeah, I mean, Abby is a competitor, like she said. And she's going to go out there and fight and compete for every, every point. And I think that's... That's her biggest strength. I mean, no one wants to play her. I wouldn't want to play against Abby because you're going to have to work for every point. And her competitive spirit is just awesome to watch. I mean, she you could just tell that she loves to compete. She loves to play. And in this atmosphere, I think she thrives. She really thrives and wants to win so bad for the team. And she's done it all year. She's had some amazing results. And playing number one as a freshman for us is not easy because every match is tough. She really doesn't get a break. So we're really proud of her. And, you know, like I said, being able to do what she did this year as a freshman and go through so much uh, adversity um, and with the results that she's, she's had, I mean, it's amazing. She's a special person, special player. We're very, very proud of her and, um, you know, just, uh, yeah, can't say enough about her. She's just, she's just great. Awesome. And I'm, I'm curious for you, Coach, you know, you go with Vanessa and Annette uh, yesterday at five and six. That's, you know, not the lineup you play. You guys have mixed up the lineups a little bit uh, all season long. Curious why that's what you went with on this occasion and if we should expect this one to be moving forward. You know, we're looking at every match, and we're looking – that's the great thing about uh, this team. We've got nine players, so we've got choices. We've got, you know, options. And so I think as a coaching staff, we, we go with our gut. We go with who we think is, is going to get out there and, and be able to perform and have success. And um, that's what we're going to do all tournament, and that's what we told the team is that we're going to do what's best for the team. And um, we make decisions based on that. And, you know, we reevaluate every match. And, and then we make more decisions and move forward. So that's kind of our philosophy. And it's what we've been doing all year. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, my final question for you, Coach, and for Jada as well. Uh, to see Alicia get the clinch, to get the win, she struggled with injuries, uh, obviously, all season long. What does that mean for you guys to have her clicking on all cylinders moving forward? Talking about Alicia? Uh, yeah, for Alicia to get, she got the win yesterday. Yes, okay. Yes, oh, it's so great. I was really so happy for her because I think it just builds her confidence. She has had a tough year with injuries, and, you know, she's such a great player. And it was great for her to, to be the clincher and feel so great about herself, and her tennis is getting better and better every match. So it was really great for us and great for the team, great for her all around because I think it just, like I said, gives her a lot, a lot of confidence. Um, and like I said, it's just gotten better and better every match. So it was, it was great and, and super, super proud of her for, for dealing with what she had to deal with and be able to come out and perform at a high level uh, in, you know, at the NCAAs. And that's all you want in a player is just to be able to, um, to respond, respond to just the moment and be able to play play at that high level and win that match. Absolutely. And I'll just throw in one bonus one. Abby, you got the NCAA crowd for the first time, had fans in attendance. How did you enjoy that energy? What were your thoughts? I honestly loved it. Growing up, that was the most, the thing I was the most excited about coming to college is playing in front of a crowd, playing in front of fans that are cheering for you, not only for you, but for your teammates, for the whole institution, just the whole Bruin Nation backing us is so nice to have, especially when, you know, you're fighting so hard and, you know, I've been out there in on deuce points and I'll win the point just because the fans were cheering for me and getting me ready for those big moments that, you know, I haven't been in before since, of course, this is my first time playing. So playing Georgia Tech and having that first experience with that was amazing and indescribable. Awesome. Well, congratulations to you both. It's always a pleasure watching the Bruins compete, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.